Prospect gives you the ability to export its reports into an HTML format for easy access. This is ideal if you're managing multiple servers and you need to view the status of each of those servers. To configure Retrospect for this operation, you go to Configure and then go to Preferences. And then under Configure Preferences, you go to Logging and you can specify to export the backup report. Once you've exported the backup report, then you can configure something called Reports Watcher. Now, the backup reports will be updated after each backup event. Let's go ahead and click OK here, and we're going to minimize retrospect, and we're going to locate the reports watcher. So we're going to go to My Computer, we're going to open up the C drive, go to Program Files, and then the Dance folder, and then the Retrospect folder. And inside there, there is the utility called Reports Watcher. Let's go ahead and open up Reports Watcher. And inside Reports Watcher, we start by clicking on the Reports button we point retrospect to our raw backup reports. It should be the same path that you configured inside the preferences of retrospect. We're going to go to our desktop and we're going to choose a path that we created called backup reports. And we're going to open that up. And inside there we see an operations log where we might even see the backup report. And we open it. And then we go ahead and select where we're going to save our HTML files. In this case we're going to go ahead and select our desktop we're going to create a new folder. We're going to call it Exported Reports. And then we're going to save. Once it's saved, we can actually go ahead and click on this link, and then it'll open up the HTML that got created. And then we can look by going to the button here, and it will show us our complete backup report history. It tells us the machine name that was backed up, the source, the backup set name, the action, whether there were fatal errors or non-fatal errors, an error name, amount stored, amount transferred, number of files copied, the duration, the script name, the start time, the stop time, as well as any parent folder names. We also have a link over here for the log. And then we can view appropriate log sections that correspond with that report. And if we scroll backwards, we can also go to successful backups and view a list of successful backups. We can view a list of failed backups or backup volumes never backed up. If we minimize the Reports Watcher screen and we go to the desktop where the reports were exported, we can take a look at that folder. In that folder, we have some, we have an index.htm file and some other items, as well as some image files so that appear inside that HTML document. Let's go ahead and let's go back to the retrospect folder under program files. And then we'll go back to reports watcher. And then inside of there, you'll also see that there's a readme. We also provide the source. So if a user wants to modify how Reports Watcher works, they're able to do that. If we reopen Reports Watcher, we can also see that there are some options. You're able to specify HTML notes that may be appropriate for your environment. You also have the ability to edit the actual HTML for each of the pages inside the report. In order for Reports Watcher to continuously update your backup reports, you need to leave the Reports Watcher application open. It can be minimized, but you need to leave the window open so that it can look on your hard drive for updated backup reports. And as I indicated earlier, your backup reports will get updated automatically after each backup execution. 